All right, so uh, we're back in this part of Onshape with the windshield. And uh, this video is for students that are having a hard time getting the fillet correct on the side of the windshield here. And there's a really common error with this one. And it really comes down to you skipped over part of the directions. And so I'm going to show you, you know, what the error looks like and then how to correct it. Uh, so I'm assuming at this point you, you've done your sketch already and you've extruded. Um, so you should have been able to copy this sketch and use the, the arc tool. Um, and then you have extruded it, the 2.55 inches, and now you're trying to add the fillet on the, on the edge here. So just gonna select the fillet tool and it says in the directions that it should be uh, 0.5 in, radius of 0.5 inches. So we're just gonna put 0.5 inches and then we're gonna try to put our the fillet in there. And you can see that it's ending right here and it's doing this like really weird shape and even if I click right there, right there, I'm just gonna get more, I'm gonna get more errors. And you can see it's kind of got the, it's got some weird error going on in here. And it has to do with your sketch. So if this is happening to you where it's not following that edge perfectly like it does in the directions, that means you skipped a step in, in your sketch. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So you're going to go back into your sketch. Okay. And so here's my sketch and you can see that there are some dimensions in here, specifically the 2.55 and then the one over here that the directions, if you scroll back up, actually tell you to delete those two constraints. So we put them in there to place them in the right spot and then we're going to actually delete them. Okay. So I'm going to say, delete sketch and sketch entity, right click on it, delete sketch entity. And then the second part of it, it says add a tangent constraint. And we're adding that tangent constraint so that the software looks at this curve as one continuous line. So we're going to go to our constraint tools, click on tangent, and we select this part of the line, and then we select the center part. And that put a tangent constraint meeting at one exact point between these two um, arcs and then one on the bottom arc and then one on the top arc and then now when we go and we 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 go back into our sketch and we try to add that fillet it's following that edge that curve all the way down because it sees that as one continuous curve and then we just put our 0.5 in there okay and so at this point you're ready to shell um, and so for the windshield part one, you're just going to select the shell tool. And then you got point, I think we said 0 0.07 in the directions. So 0 0.07, great. And then you're done with windshield part one. I'm going to upload another video for windshield part two. So take a look for that one if you want to get, uh, if you want to know how to get started on the uh, windshield part two. Thanks a lot.